What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me and welcome to the Suicide Squad Extended Cut Movie Review. This movie is directed by David Ayer and stars Will Smith, Margot Robbie, Jared Leto, a whole bunch of damn people. I mean, it's, it's a large guy, it's an ensemble film, you know? So, in anticipation for Justice League, I wanted to watch every single DCEU movie and review them. And, well, did Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, and here we are at the final one, the latest one, Suicide Squad. Well, technically Wonder Woman was the latest one, but I reviewed that when it came out. But here we go, Suicide Squad. Another controversial film in the DCEU. Wow. Uh, I'm actually repping Suicide Squad shit. I got a, a Suicide Squad shirt on right now. Um, I... Okay, so here's the thing about Suicide Squad with me. I saw this movie 10 times in the theaters. <laughs> I genuinely love this movie. Um, I think people hate it too much, and I don't think people really see it as just a very damn fun movie that you can watch over and over again. Yes, it has problems. Don't get me wrong. It has problems. It's not even an amazing movie, but it's a very damn fun movie that I can watch over and over and over and over and over again because I've watched it 10 times. I just feel like there's always something there that just makes me smile and be like, ah, oh, that, was, that was fun, that was fun. <laughs> and uh, Suicide Squad was that. It was the opposite of Batman vs. Superman, but still uh, uh, not quite that amazing one that maybe like Wonder Woman and Man of Steel are to me. There won't be any spoilers in this movie, Root, just to let you know. But yeah, I, it seems that a lot of people don't actually like this movie. They actually hate on it and like they just devour it. And I'm like, no, guys, what the hell? There's so many other bad movies out that this is not a bad movie. No way. It's actually a great one to me. I watched the extended cut. And uh, this was actually the first time I saw the extended cut. The extended cut, man, I gotta say, is a bit less than the theatrical cut. I, if I were to recommend seeing any, you might as well see the theatrical cut because it takes out like uh, those 10 minutes. I think it's like 10 minutes. And technically, two of those minutes are pretty good, but the other eight kind of fall flat for me. So to me, that's one of the low points of the extended cut are those extra 10 minutes. But I will also say, let's just let's just talk about some good stuff. Like I said earlier, this movie is damn fun. It's a really fun, very, very fun movie. It's a very stylized movie. They got a lot of almost like music video-esque parts to this movie. Um, they have in the very beginning, you know, they show off each of the characters. They show off Deadshot, then they show off Harley Quinn, the Captain Boomerang, all these kind of guys. And they have it alongside with the music and, and it's incredibly entertaining i think this movie is consistently entertaining there's not really a moment in this movie where i, I find myself to be bored just more towards ah, i think that's bad like for instance let's get into some bads the enemy uh the enemies are like these goo guys they look so damn generic it's pathetic you know it's it's whatever you know no one cares about those guys but they're there however what i will say is i was watching the behind the scenes it's pretty incredible the stunt work the stunt work in this movie is actually really damn good. They took their time out to make that gooey scene, not all CG, and all of that is practical effects, and they're jumping over cars and they're fighting. That's cool. I like that a lot. I gotta give them props for that. However, also, the final enemy, uh, which is the the Enchantress's brother. Yeah, I don't care about that at all. He's, he's this generic... Uh, He's just this big CGI monster, just kind of fights. And again, I don't mind CG stuff. I really don't. Uh, not, not at all. But like him specifically, there was nothing to him. And he just, he definitely fell flat. However, people give shit to the Enchantress, but I actually like the Enchantress. Um, I, I get that she's kind of weird when she does like the, the body movements and stuff. But what I like about her is that she has a connection to one of the heroes, you know, Rick Flagg. And so I like that because it it just has something deeper than a usual villain, you know? How all these other villains are just, they want to stop the world. But yeah, she wants to do that. But that same time, she's inhabiting someone that one of the heroes love. So it adds a little bit more tension. I like that. I think everyone does a really damn good performance. I really like everyone in this movie, you know? Uh, it, it was awesome to see Harley Quinn... Uh, as uh, Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn, you know, that was so cool to see Jared Leto's The Joker, his own portrayal of The Joker, and people like to give him shit, but no way, I think he was a great Joker, I really do like him, where he goes, I have sweet talk to me, all of that chit chat's gonna get charred, I, <laughs> I could quote him all day, I think he's fantastic, well, I mean, I could quote for his, you know, seven minutes on screen, but, you know, I think it 
I can't wait to see a Batman movie or a Harley Quinn and Joker movie, whatever it is going to be. I can't wait to see more of Joker uh, on the screen. You know, I'm excited to see more of that. And everyone else, you know, again, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, uh, Ed, Katana, everyone everyone does good. Everyone does what they're, what they're given and they do it good. I like it. I think everyone, I think the chemistry starts to build up over time and I think it makes for a pretty damn enjoyable film. I think it's great. Overall, I'm going to give Suicide Squad the extended cut an 8 out of 10. I think it's a great film. I would give the, the theatrical cut an 8.5 out of 10. Again, I just think like some of a lot of these uh, uh, moments, the the 10 minutes, like eight of those are kind of pointless. Um, and that's why I definitely box it down because eight minutes, pointless. That's, you got to box it down a bit. Like. <laughs> but yeah, I genuinely think this is a great movie. I really have a lot of fun every time I see it. I actually thought because I thought I'm like, maybe I'm the crazy one. And and there's no way it's actually not good at all. And I, when I when I rewatched, it, I was like, no, this movie is still great, man. I think it's a really enjoyable film. Yes, the the villain is not that good. I'll I'll admit that the main villain I think is. But for what this movie was trying to be, a Suicide Squad film, you know, them taking on someone uh, way above of them and them working on as, as a team to stop it. I think it worked. I really think it worked. And uh, yeah, so, so guys, let me know down in the comments below. Did you like Suicide Squad? Did you not like it? Let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Justice League, I'm seeing it tonight. I fucking hope it's good. At least give me a good movie, you know. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye.